With the opioid crisis continuing to worsen, it's important to investigate anything, I mean anything that could help, including something that continues to cause controversy, medical marijuana. You all have strong feelings about medical marijuana? I, a, a lot of folks seem to have an opinion on this. They're not all the same opinion. Dr. Sanjay Gupta is once again putting weed under the microscope with his groundbreaking reporting. And he's asking the question, could pot be the solution, the solution to America's opioid epidemic? Sanjay, you're a busy guy. You could do any project you wanted to on the planet. Yet this is your fourth special on medical marijuana. Why do you keep coming back to it? Well, uh, Oz, I, I think it's really important. I think this is one of those, um, one of these substances out there that for whatever reason has uh, been demonized, and I think it can be a real medicine. I, I didn't believe in it earlier on in my career, and I've come to the conclusion that for certain conditions, not only can it work, it's the only thing that works. Mm -hmm. So it, it became almost as much a moral issue for me as a medical issue. We have to talk about this. We have to beat the drum because I don't think other people really are. I hope that someone like you, someone like me, can actually keep educating people about this. So what is the strongest evidence you found? Because whenever I have this argument, and I've had quite a few, people say, ah, what? That's right. there's nothing much out there. What's the strongest evidence that could actually help with the opioid epidemic? That maybe it's not a gateway to opiates, it might be the gateway out of opiate addiction. Uh, th th there's three important points, and let me make them quickly because they're important. Number one, we know, and there's plenty of evidence that cannabis can treat pain, yeah. okay? The, the National Academy of Science has a consensus on this. That's not in debate anymore. It can treat pain. It can even treat pain differently than opioids do. They both block pain signals to the brain. Mm -hmm. Cannabis also decreases inflammation, which is why it can work fast. Number two is it can stop the withdrawal that people have when they're trying to stop opioids. Thing is that people, they want to quit. It's, you start to quit and you get the terrible headaches, the worsening pain, the nausea and vomiting. Mm -hmm. You know what it's like? It's like patients who are undergoing chemotherapy, who are cancer patients, mm -hmm. and cannabis for a long time has used, been used to treat that. It can be used to treat these withdrawal as well. But here's the most compelling thing for me, was that when you take opioids, within a few days, your brain changes. That's what they call the brain disease. Your brain has changed, and you are no longer able to, to really have the same judgment, the same decision making, the same ability to quit. You can't just say no anymore. It's, it's, it's egregious to ask people to just say no if their brain has changed in this way. Cannabis, is specifically a component known as CBD, can help heal the brain. So treat the pain, treat the withdrawal, heal the brain. If you had to design something, Oz, to get us out of this opioid epidemic, mm -hmm. it would probably look very much like cannabis. And it needs to be studied. It needs to be treated with the respect that it deserves. And we're not talking about recreational marijuana, right. separate conversation, but this is medical use. Be sure